You're listening to the Astromommy Daily Horoscope, a forecast that hopes to shine a light in the dark, helping us all see where we've been, where we are, and where we're going. Whether you're a first-time listener or a long-time subscriber, thanks for being here. I truly appreciate you being in the Astromommy community. I hope you enjoy today's horoscope and card reading. If you would like to support the Astromommy newsletter, there are several ways to do so. Subscribe on Substack, share it with a friend, schedule a reading, check out my family's Etsy shop, Metaphysical Flamingo, or just leave a tip. Without further ado, here is the Daily Horoscope. Thinking about home renovations, Moon in Cancer, and Venus Square Jupiter. Daily Horoscope for Friday, December 9th, 2022. Good morning, friends. There are three days left of our holiday sale, which ends on December 12th, 2022 in the Family Etsy shop. Select items are 20% off and select items have free shipping. If you order before December 12th, your item will arrive before Christmas. So get those orders in ASAP. Thanks so much. Okay, let's get into the astrology. The moon moves into Cancer today at 2.48 a.m. Eastern Time and within a few hours opposes Mercury and Capricorn. Thankfully, this opposition happens while we are sleeping, so maybe the troubles from it came late last night and won't continue throughout the day. But an opposition from the moon to Mercury could bring up struggles in communicating, feeling nervous, or unstable. There could be issues with vehicles, transportation routes, and traveling in general. If you were asleep during this transit, then maybe astral projection was harder than usual, or maybe you dreamed of getting a flat tire. Let me know if you had any travel dreams. Inquiring minds want to know. Today, Venus in Sagittarius perfects a square to Jupiter in Pisces at 7.54 a.m. Eastern Time, both at 29 degrees, 13 minutes of their respective signs. This could be intense in that it is the final degrees of Sagittarius in Pisces. It's a square aspect, traditionally the nature of Mars, which could mean action, strife, and conflict, but also because Venus will ingress into Capricorn by tonight at 10.53 p.m. Eastern Time. So this aspect is a powerful one right before a significant change for Venus. Because they are both planets of good fortune, hopefully this means a constructive action, full of Venusian glamour and Jupiterian abundance. Venus and Jupiter coming together in a square could bring up tensions surrounding our relationships, values, money, wealth, and overarching beliefs about things. We could feel the need to get a broader view of what we are trying to accomplish, and there could be some reality checks as Venus moves into Capricorn in regard to our finite resources that we have to work with to accomplish our lofty goals. So this feels like if we are renovating our kitchen and we've made this giant Pinterest board with amazing photos of lavish Italian or French decor, but then we are reminded of the reality of our budget constraints. We decide to take action and get things going, but we have to keep in mind that we may need to make faux wood beams across the ceiling instead of purchasing real wooden ones that cost an arm and a leg. You know what I mean? It's like realizing you can have the subway tile backsplash that you want, but it might need to be the peel and stick kind instead of the real deal. A little depressing, but reasonable. There is also the possibility of overspending and overindulgence in general with the Venus-Jupiter square, so just be mindful. Let's move on to the card for the day. What is the guidance for Friday? Page of Swords reversed. On this card, we see a page wearing a soldier's cap with a red upright tassel fitted with a gold button. The page is wearing green and purple clothes with fancy buttons, and he is holding a sword with two hands at the hilt. In the background, there's a building that has been damaged with smoke coming out of it, a red sky and ominous clouds. In the upright position, the Page of Swords is all about someone who is bursting with new ideas, passion, and energy. He wants to get right to it and start doing things. He is ready to go, fight, and charge forth, but there is the need to communicate effectively. In the reverse position, the Page of Swords represents someone who may be having a hard time expressing themselves, or maybe they are talking a lot but not producing much to show for all their ideas. It could also signify someone who is acting impulsively or communicating with haste and therefore could be putting their foot in their mouth. Maybe it means needing to slow down and do things on your to-do list one at a time instead of trying to multitask. Also, this card in the reverse position could represent that you or someone else is being oppositional and challenging what people are saying. This could be out of sheer boredom or curiosity, but it could be really annoying, so be careful not to be the devil's advocate just because you can. Pick and choose your battles, as they say. I would love to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment or join the new chat and let us know what you think there. I hope this is helpful. Until tomorrow, Astro Mommy. Also, check out the new t-shirt I just designed. Astrology is my love language. Thank you for reading the Daily Horoscope. Quick links and resources can be found at the bottom of the newsletter. Today's card was pulled from the Morgan Greer deck, available on Amazon. If you purchase anything through the affiliate links that I provide in the newsletters, I will make a small commission that there are no additional costs to you. I don't share or recommend things that I don't 100% believe in and use myself. Thanks for listening.